A debate over what students should be taught in the classroom when it comes to sexuality today spilled out into the halls of the Indiana State House. Several hundred gathered outside the House chambers while members of the House Education Committee considered House Bill 1608. Now, the bill would ban discussion of human sexuality in the classroom from kindergarten through third grade. Tonight, our State House reporter Emily Longnecker shares how this bill changed. Well, the original bill would have banned teaching about sexual orientation or gender identity in grades K through 3. The bill's author, Republican Representative Michelle Davis, changed that language this morning to simply human sexuality, something that is not being taught right now in grades K through 3. Critics of this bill say it is based in hate. Supporters say it's about parental rights. Sir. It's a name! It's a name! The debate over House Bill 1608 and the amendments to it came with shouting outside the House chamber Monday morning, but even some inside as people testified. You should be ashamed. They're names. They are names. Under one amendment to the bill, parents would have to give written permission at the beginning of a school year for children to be able to use a different name or pronoun not matching their gender assigned at birth. Even with parental permission, teachers would not be required to use the requested pronoun or name if it went against their own personal beliefs. Teachers would also be required to let parents know if their child was asking for a name or a pronoun change. The goal of House Bill 1608 is to empower Hoosier parents by reinforcing that they're in the driver's seat when it comes to introducing sensitive topics to their children. Several parents testified in support of the measure. It is holding educators accountable to stay in their lane of educating our children on academics and not indoctrinating them. I could love and respect everyone in this room and do. I have no reason to think otherwise and still not want my child, an eight-year-old, taught sex ed. Those opposed said if this bill became law, it would marginalize LGBTQ plus students and kids with same-sex parents who might not feel safe to talk about their families in school. Each and every student should feel that they and their families are safe, accepted, and welcomed at school. This sends a message that LGBTQ kids and kids with same-sex parents are not welcome in classrooms and schools. The bill passed out of the Education Committee by a 9 to 4 vote. It now heads to the full House where other members can make changes. At the State House, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.